Jin Muchen stepped off the bus and took a deep breath. The morning sun was warm on his face. He clenched his fists and walked towards the warehouse in front. That warehouse is where Muchen Jin was interviewing for the job today, a Costco supermarket chain in a distribution center on the edge of Brooklyn, New York City. There are many large supermarkets in the United States, such as Walmart, Costco, etc. The geographical locations of these supermarkets are very different from those in China. Generally, large supermarkets in China are located in the prosperous areas of cities, while in the United States, large supermarkets are generally located in urban areas. Marginal areas, of course, are also related to the living habits of Americans. Working in the city center and living in the suburbs are the living conditions of many Americans, so large supermarkets generally choose to be located in residential areas far from the city center. And the distribution center of the supermarket, of course, will choose a more marginal area. Just like the distribution center that Jin Muchen is interviewing today, it is located at the junction of Brooklyn and Queens, radiating three good rooms in Brooklyn and Queens. City Supermarket Costco, a large wholesale supermarket, is more suitable for a large group of people. The price is lower than that of Walmart, so this supermarket has many customers, especially in poor areas like Queens. Because the business of the supermarket is relatively good, the work of the distribution center is also very heavy. When Jin Muchen saw the job resume on the internet, it was clearly written that it was heavy physical work and the description of the job was that the limited goods should be delivered within a limited time according to the employer's needs. From the shelf to the truck, it is a stevedore to put it bluntly. The work is very heavy, and the salary is of course very high. It is $28 an hour, which is higher than many white-collar workers sitting in the office, and more than twice the minimum wage in the United States. This is for Jin Muchen, who is in urgent need of making money very suitable. If it was a few days ago, Jin Muchen would definitely not have come to do this job. Although the salary is good, he knows that his body can't handle it, but now, especially after the weird thing that day, he has a sense of his own strength. Absolute confidence. Standing at the door of the warehouse to greet him was a strong white man about 1.8 meters tall, stocky like a meat mountain, about 50 years old. When he saw clearly that Jin Muchen was Asian, the expression on his face was a little surprised. Hi, are you Mu Chen? Yes, it's me, nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. I'm John, the supervisor here, your interviewer. John stretched out his hand and shook Jin Muchen's hand. His hand was very strong, and the skin on his palm was as rough as the rocks on the moon's surface. Okay. No nonsense, let's get started. John is a straightforward guy. After a few simple greetings, he turned around and entered the warehouse with Jin Muchen. Today, this Asian is the first Chinese who came to apply for a job that John saw. In the past, the people who came to apply for a job were old blacks and old mo's. Those guys were all sturdy and had a good foundation, but they were all lazy. Especially those old blacks. Generally, I can't work for too long. Basically, I work for a month, save a few thousand yuan, then stop and go out and have a good time, and come back when I have no money. If it weren't for the shortage of manpower today, old John would not have agreed with the Chinese boy in front of him to give it a try. After all, although he is quite tall, he doesn't look particularly strong. The order that just arrived, a branch in Queens, where the goods are 1,000 pounds of flour, loaded in half an hour, and delivered to the supermarket within an hour. If you can complete it within half an hour, then this the job is yours. John took Jin Muchen directly to the front of a hill made of flour buns, pointed to the hill, and said to Jin Muchen, This is not light work. With a thousand pounds of flour and a weight of more than 900 caddies, even a strong old black like a buffalo can't guarantee that he can complete the entire transportation task within half an hour. Jin Muchen looked at the flower mountain in front of him, and then turned to look at John. He could see that the old man's eyes were more hesitant. And I don't know when, 
a group of Lao He and Lao Emo, who were watching the fun, were chatting beside him, as if they were waiting for him to make a fool of themselves. Jin Muchen wasn't angry, just smiled slightly and said to John, Well, I'll try. After he finished speaking, he took off his long-sleeved t-shirt and walked towards which flower mountain. After seeing this guy taking off his t-shirt, the exposed steel-like muscles made old John startled. Type. It's just that his body may be quite chunky to ordinary people, but compared with the sturdy muscles here, at Bang Yuan, it's not enough to look at. A group of old black and old emo who were not alive at this time, surrounded John behind, chatting somewhere. Hey. John, do you think he'll do it? I see enough, John, it's a waste of time for you to give him a trial. Hey. Paul, shut your mouth, I think he's okay. Jim, I said you, why do you like to play? Why don't we take a gamble? Okay, just bet, whoever loses will treat you to the Red Pony Tavern tonight. Hey. Shut up, look at you. Oh. My God, is this kid still human? WTF, this guy is definitely a machine, he's not a human. Ha ha ha, Paul looks like you're destined for a treat tonight. A 50-pound bag of flour, Jin Muchen reached out and tried it. It was quite heavy. He reached out and picked up a bag and put it on his shoulder, and then picked up another bag and placed it on his shoulder. It was okay and didn't feel particularly heavy. This weight is not particularly difficult for me. With my current strength, it seems that I can still have a margin. So he resisted four bags the first time, walked down the hill where the flower bales were piled up, and put the flower on the shelf on the ground. After walking down again, my physical strength seems to have bottomed out a bit, but whenever my waist and arms feel a little sore, a heat current will spew out from my dantian, and I will make a circle in my body and then the feeling of exhaustion will immediately follow. It disappeared, as if it was full of electricity, and he was full of energy, which made Jin Muchen feel more confident the more he went. It takes 10 minutes to build 500 pounds of flour wrapped in craft paper. It must be handled with care. If you drop it the ground, it will easily break, so you must be very careful when putting it down. Carrying a few bags of flour on the shoulders is much more laborious. Usually, these rough-handed porters will accidentally break one or two bags when doing this work, and the more they go to the back because of the loss of strength, the more likely they are to make mistakes. After placing the flour bag on the shelf, tighten the pile of flour with plastic film, call the forklift, and directly send the shelf and the stretched flour to the truck. This job looks simple but it's really not that easy to do, but Jin Muchen seems to be a clockwork robot, every movement is precise, and after a few trips, the air is not breathed, and the sweat is not enough. Not a few drops were shed, and it looked like he was lifting weights lightly, but it shocked those old blacks and old inks who knew how difficult this job was. For a whole trip of 1,000 pounds of flour, this kid only took 20 minutes. With such quick hands and feet, the group of old Mo's and old Blacks on the shift were stunned, and even old John, who had worked for decades, was also a little unbelievable. Thinking that even when he was young, he couldn't seem to be able to do this kid with such agile hands and feet. Good boy, this job is yours. Thirty dollars an hour. I'll give you forty minutes for the job just now. This job is paid on a piece of behoor basis but such a quick quit young man who is not lazy is hard to find now. Giving him an extra 10 minutes is a small reward. Anyway, the company is paying, so why not do it yourself? Old John hammered Jin Muchen on the shoulder. It's really good that this young man is as strong as a calf, but he really missed his eyes just now. By the way, don't rush home after get off work at night, Paul treats guests at the Red Pony Tavern. Oh. Uu reading www.uuganshu.com No, guys, you can wait until Friday, but today is not the day to pay wages. The old man Hey Paul, who lost the bet, raised his hand and stroked his forehead, and let out a wailing sound, but what he was waiting for was a series of whistles around him. 
Shut up, Paul, you still have a credit card. The surrounding co-workers laughed and said, Jin Muchen just lowered his head and smiled. John took Jin Muchen to a simple office that was converted from a container at the side of the warehouse, added a bunch of forms, and then brought him a hard hat and tooling. Jin Muchen started to work that day. At six o'clock in the evening, the shift that Jin Muchen was on finally finished his shift, and everyone started clocking in and leaving get off work, but before leaving, John called everyone to a simple warehouse converted from another container next to the office. Whatever you see, just take it. After speaking, he turned around and went out. A group of Lao Hei and Lao Mo cheered and walked over to the damaged goods, and Jin Muchen also walked over. Those things are some of the packaged goods that were accidentally damaged when the workers were carrying the goods during the day, such as bacon with damaged packaging bags, or tin cans that were deformed by collision, as well as beer and beverages with damaged packaging and so on. And this is the second reason why Jin Muchen is looking for this job. The first reason is because the salary here is high and there is no requirement for academic qualifications, and the second reason is because of the goods handled. This can help him solve a large part of his eating problems, especially after his body starts to change. Generally, these goods will be counted into the transportation loss, and after the statistics are completed before the shift every night, they will be required by the company and thrown away. Of course, throwing it away is just a pretense. The specific situation is that the guys on duty will divide these things. However, before Jin Muchen chose this job, he had heard people say that this job has such an extra welfare, but this is not bad, it can just help him solve some of the troubles he is facing now. Since his body has changed, he has become an uncompromising big eater. The whole person seems to have entered the second stage of development, and the demand for food energy is very strong, even if it is the cheapest junk food, I have to eat more than a hundred dollars of food every day to fill my stomach. If he just depended on his salary, he would not be able to save money at all, but with these food subsidies, his life would be much easier, which should be considered a very good surprise. Under the dim light, smoke was lingering, jazz music was playing on the record player, a group of burly men walked in and out, and there were also scantily clad and fat waitresses who shuttled between the tables and chairs. The waitresses shuffled from table to table, twisting their waists, every now and then a thick arm would slap their plump buttocks. The crisp sound is often exchanged for the slightly provocative screams of the waitresses, and the laughter and whistles of the gangsters. This is the Red Pony Bar, right next to the distribution center. Every day, the big of the distribution center come to have fun after work. In this area on the border of Brooklyn and Queens, there is not only a distribution center in Costco, but also distribution centers in Walmart and other big supermarkets. Every day the rough guys in these distribution centers like to come here after work. Come and relax at the Red Pony Bar. The reason is of course very simple, because the drinks and food prices here are very cheap. Paul, who lost the bet today, really kept his promise. After work, he invited the co-workers to come to the bar together. Jin Muchen, of course, wanted to have a good relationship with the co-workers when he first arrived so of course he did not refuse. Hey, man, I have a special treat for you today. Not only do I want to treat you to drinks, but I also treat you to dinner. Paul put his arm around Jin Muchen's shoulder and said, although today is the first day of work, Jin Muchen has shown everyone his strength. Since the official start of work at 10.30 in the morning, this boy has basically not had much rest. Except during lunch time, this boy is only working, and he has been working until 6 o'clock in the evening. This kind of physical strength, even this group of muscles number at, can't help but admire, you must know that even they will choose to rest for 10 to 15 minutes after completing a task. After all, every transport will consume it. Not light. However, Jin Muchen was like a clockwork robot, completely tireless. He worked like this for a whole day and the rest time added up to no more than half an hour. This is quite a shock to these guys with solid eyes and absolute worship of power. 
At the end of the day, many people regard this guy who is not lazy at work and likes to help people as a friend. In the afternoon, in the transportation task that the two of them cooperated again, if it wasn't for Jin Muchin to pull Paul, this guy would have to. Impossible to be smashed. So Paul immediately regarded Jin Muchin as a friend worthy of deep friendship, and wanted to invite him to dinner. The Red Pony Bar not only provides drinks, but also some light meals such as hamburgers and fries. Okay, but can I have an oversized one? I'm really starving. Since someone was treating guests, of course Jin Muchin was not polite, and Paul snapped his fingers and called out to the fat cook standing behind the bar. Doris, a king's ice package. The fat cook took a look here, then nodded, obviously familiar with Paul and the others. While the other companions asked for beer each, the Americans were very clear on this point. Treating a guest to a drink means treating the guest to a drink, not including dinner. For example, if Paul is willing to invite Jin Muchin to dinner, it is because the relationship department is in place, and it has to be calculated separately. Haha, <laughs> boy, you really need to have a good appetite. Not everyone can eat the K-set meal here. An old M.O. named Antonio who came together said to Jin Muchin with a bottle of wine. Haha, <laughs> a good boy should have a good appetite. I'm sure this boy can eat all of it. On the other side, John patted Jin Muchin on the shoulder with a smile, while Jin Muchin touched his stomach and said with a smile. Don't worry, Antu, I'm hungry enough to eat a cow now. Soon a fragrant wind came from behind, and the group of old and rough people who were still giggling in the booth were silent, but all of them stared at Jin Muchin's back. Just when Jin Muchin felt a little strange, Xiang Feng came to his side. The K package you want? The voice is very beautiful, completely different from the pretentious voices of other waitresses. Jin Muchin turned his head and saw a bright and charming profile face, blue eyes, straight nose, long blonde hair, draped. On the shoulders, the slender figure was completely different from those of the other sturdy waitresses, especially the two on the chest that almost broke the collar. The big and rough people around were holding their breaths and their throats kept moving up and down. Although they were trying their best to endure it, Jin Muchin felt that he could still hear their saliva swallowing. With the beauty in front of her, and the pair of unforgettable breasts, many people will think of the tits-haking supermodel who often shows her face on TV at first sight when they see her. A beauty of this level can usually be seen, and it should be in a tall place like Manhattan, but now she appears in such a vulgar roadside shop, which is unimaginable. And Jin Muchin looked at this woman and felt very familiar, as if she had seen it somewhere, but she couldn't remember. After the waitress finished delivering the meal, she turned and left with the whistles of the gangsters, and Jin Muchin didn't think about it anymore. Now he is more concerned about the dinner in front of him. The King's Eyes set menu really lives up to its reputation. The bread can be as big as a 9-inch pizza, and there are two thick meat patties sandwiched between them served with pickled cucumbers, lettuce, and eight slices of cheese. The aroma can be smelled from afar. French fries can be the thickness of a finger, a full pile, estimated to weigh a pound, and half a pound of onion rings, plus two hot dogs. This set of meals is typically prepared for those who work hard, if it is the original Jin Muchin. He may not be able to finish three meals by himself, but now to him, these are just appetizers. In the eyes of everyone waiting, Jin Muchin swept away these things in less than 20 minutes. And light. Man, I think you should really go to the big eater competition. I think you definitely eat more than that little Japanese woman. Paul patted Jin Muchin on the shoulder and said, but the topic soon changed. Hey guys, what do you guys think of that new waitress? She's so hot. Hey, I think I'm in love. I'm going after her. Come on, Paul, stop daydreaming. That's right, that chick is obviously a newcomer who just came to New York. When she gets familiar with the situation here, she will soon fall into the arms of the rich guys in Manhattan. You and they are not in the same world at all. Hey, you cowards, you have no eggs, 
but are you jealous of my Paul's courage? Soon Paul was chatting with the gangsters around him, and such a harmonious and relaxed atmosphere gradually relaxed Jin Muchen, who had been nervous for the past few days. Ah, asshole! You this! Then there was a clear slap on the face, Jin Muchen felt his arms sink, and when he came back to his senses, he realized that there was actually a woman in his arms. Familiar perfume smell, bowed his head again, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com just saw that familiar pretty face, but this face was full of fear and grievance at this time. The woman covered her profile face, and it seemed that the slap in the face just now was not light. Jin Muchen looked up and did not know when, in front of their table, there were already seven or eight tall and strong men. The one who took the lead, a stout white man, was not ugly, but the tattoo representing the Nazis on his exposed arm was very dazzling. Hey! John, when did you start recruiting yellow monkeys? Don't be impulsive, man, that guy is Joey. Blind. The famous villain here. Paul was afraid of Jin Muchen's impulsiveness, so he pressed Jin Muchen's shoulder. Joey. Blinder and his brothers and friends are workers in the nearby Walmart distribution center, and they are also notorious villains among the workers in this distribution center. They are said to have close ties with the union guys. Afraid of offending them, and this guy is a white supremacist. It's none of your business who we use in our company, but Joey, you are really good at it, and you can actually beat women in front of so many people. John pushed back very strongly. He is also an old man around here, and his connections are not worse than the blind brothers, so he will not ignore them. Joey just drank a lot of cat pee and pinched the of the waitress who he had been staring at all night. As a result, he got a slap in the face. He raised his hand and slapped it back when his brain was hot. As a result, he slapped the waitress. Jin Muchen's arms. Joey was stabbed in the sore spot by old John and he became angry on the spot, but his anger turned to anger. He hasn't lost his mind yet. He can't provoke old John, but it doesn't mean that he can't provoke Jin Muchen, who is not pleasing to the eye. Hey! Yellow-skinned boy, what are you looking at? Are you not convinced? Do you want to eat Grandpa's big banana? A group of strong men behind Joey burst into laughter, all looking at Jin Muchen with provocative eyes. Jin Muchen smiled coldly, you just ate poop, why don't you brush your teeth? Is this your hobby? Besides hitting women, do you like to eat poop? He has been in the United States for two years, and of course he has felt the unspoken rules, both overt and covert. The most unbearable of them is racial discrimination. Ordinary white people will cover it up more or less, but this guy in front of him acts like a racist. With his face red, he expressed discrimination against himself. Jin Muchen was not a good-tempered person. He couldn't bear such a person. What's more, he is not his old self anymore. After the incident a few days ago, especially after finding that his strength has grown stronger, he picked up the Bajiquan that his grandfather taught him before. Originally thought that it would be unfamiliar after not practicing for a long time, but he didn't expect that after picking it up again, he quickly started to use it. He could feel his current body and was very comfortable with this set of boxing techniques, which may be exactly what he said. In other words, the physical strength is not a loss. There were some moves that could not be done before, and the moves that could not be completed, but now they practiced naturally and naturally. He could clearly feel that his boxing skills were advancing by leaps and bounds. And that change seems to have not only changed his body, but also his character. Now he has become more confident and aggressive than before. If this happened in the past, although he would be very angry, but after all, he is in a foreign country where he is unfamiliar, so he may endure it, but now, he can't bear it, he has strength, and he needs to be afraid of such a villain? Jin Muchen doesn't like to cause trouble, but it doesn't mean that he is afraid of trouble. Before, he was not afraid of such a guy, and now he is not afraid. As long as the opponent does not have a gun in his hand, 
he is confident that he can beat the opponent to half-death with just his fist. Blue veins popped out of Joey's forehead, and the scene was even more silent. In this place, there are not many people talking to Joey like this, and many people are carrying wine bottles to watch the fun. You. Boom. A gunshot interrupted Joey's words, and the red pony bar was quiet for a while. Everyone turned around to see that the amiable cook just now was standing behind the bar, holding a still in her hand. Smokey Remington. Okay, bastards, either sit down for me, or get out of here. The grey-haired Taruisi, although not many words, is very lethal. The most important thing is that Remington, who is still smoking in her hands, seems to be afraid of her. Even Joey, who was still aggressive just now, tilted his head and glanced at her. In the end, he could only spit the ground, and soon the original order was restored in the bar. But Joey's group didn't get out of the way, but sat not far from Jin Muchin's group, and they looked at Jin Muchin's side with wicked eyes, it seemed, yes after they finish drinking and leave the bar, follow them to find their bad luck. Dude, wait a minute, we'll cover you, you go through the back door first. Paul and the others also saw that something was wrong, and discussed with John a few words. Now that Jin Muchin is already their friend, of course they can't see him suffer. Now that old John is still in control, and it is still in Doris's territory, although Joey's dare not move, their intentions are very clear. It's only been a day since I met each other, but these co-workers are willing to stand up for themselves. Jin Muchin's heart is still a little moved. Thanks, guys, you don't have to, I'm really not afraid of that bastard. Mu Chen, you're a good guy. We know you're not afraid of Joey, the villain, but listen to me, those guys can do anything. They're notoriously daring and unconscionable, this time you don't be brave, okay? Listen to our arrangements, don't worry, we will cover you. Old John also persuaded Jin Muchin to say that he could still hold himself in the bar, but if he went out of the bar, he couldn't follow Jin Muchin home step by step. Jin Muchin looked at Old John and smiled. He knew that if he didn't solve the troubles in front of him today, he might not even be able to keep the job he just found. After all, Old John couldn't be a nanny for himself, and the place where the thugs worked, is very close to the place where he works. Even if he hides today, they will come to the door in a few days, and he can't hide from them forever. What's more, after gaining tyrannical power, his mood is different from before. Facing a villain like Joey, he has an urge to try. A bloodthirsty feeling of tyranny began to stir in his heart, and he knew that this was not a good thing, but he couldn't control it. At this time, the thugs ordered another bunch of beers and this time they specially asked the waitress who had been harassed by them just now to bring it over. Although the waitress was very reluctant, she still had to give it to them. Come over. Just as she put the wine on the table of Joey's group, Joey's group suddenly put their hands up and down, some people reached out to touch the waitress's chest, and some people touched her ass. The waitress screamed and was about to run away but was hugged by that bastard, Joey, and let his brothers get on the woman. Enough, bastard. Seeing such a situation, Jin Muchin was furious and stood up suddenly. When old John and Paul saw this situation, they could not help but sigh and stand up. What? You yellow-skinned monkey, do you still want to pretend to be a hero? What Joey was waiting for was the moment when Jin Muchin broke out. At this time, he suddenly let go of the waitress, and then a group of people quickly gathered around, and the bar fell into silence again. The other party's contemptuous irony also made Jin Muchin's bloodthirsty impulse even more unstoppable, but at this time, on the surface, he calmed down. Except for the two groups of people who were confronting each other, everyone else was watching the fun with wine bottles, and the waitress, at this time, quickly got out of the crowd. Joey. Don't go too far. John stood beside Jin Muchin and said. Humph, too much? I just like too much. Well, since you want to pick something up, this is Doris's territory, so let's settle it according to the old rules. 
John said to Joey that Joey originally wanted to find an excuse and then beat up Jin Muchen, but when old John mentioned it, he suddenly remembered that this was Doris's territory. Seeing Doris with a cold face, she was looking at them coldly with Remington. Okay, just follow the old rules. Joey, who was still trying to be ruthless, calmed down for a moment. Doris is not an ordinary old lady, not to mention that this old lady has a son who is famous for her murder. Hearing that Joey agreed, old John couldn't help but look overjoyed, then turned to hold Jin Muchen and whispered in his ear. Don't be afraid, this is Doris's territory, and they don't dare to fight. The old rule we call is a wrench. Your boy is very strong and you will definitely win him. Jin Muchen smiled slightly, noncommittal. The people here obviously understood what the old rules were in their mouths. Someone soon cleared out an area and moved a small round table. Jin Muchen or Joey sat on both sides of the round table. Joey was dressed as a hippie, with a leather waistcoat on his upper body, and his two arms were very hairy, especially the forearm, which was thick like the pincers of a king crab. UU reading www.uugonshu.com On the other hand, Jin Muchen has a slender body. Although he is quite chunky, his arms are two laps thinner than Joey's. Hey, boy, let the horses come over, I'm going to break your arm, then you yellow-skinned monkey, don't go back to your mother crying. Joey's presumptuous and vulgar words made the accomplices standing behind him burst into laughter. Including other onlookers, there was a burst of laughter. Just looking at his body shape, everyone was not very optimistic about Jin Muchen. He should be six feet two inches tall. Even in the eyes of an American who is as tall as a forest, he is not short, but he is not optimistic. The reason for him is that he is very thin. Especially compared to the stout Joey, he is really too thin. Joey's arms and upper arms feel almost thicker than this kid's thighs, so everyone is not very optimistic about this Asian kid. Only Paul and the others still had some confidence in Jin Muchen at this time. After all, they had seen Jin Muchen work hard during the day. This kid is not ordinary. Don't look at him thin, but his physical strength and endurance are definitely not ordinary. But this arm wrestling is not compared to physical strength, but to explosive power. Joey's arms are almost as thick as Jin Muchen's thighs, and their confidence in Jin Muchen is not particularly firm. Jin Muchen came to the round table with a faint smile, but did not sit down in a hurry, but turned around to look around. On the last table, he found two boning knives for steak. The knives here are different from the stainless steel knives with rounded heads that are often seen on TV. These two knives are the most primitive and rough steak knives. Wooden handle sharp knife, the point is very sharp it is specially used to cut the tendons, and the blade also has sharp serrations. Come in handy. It's not interesting to just wrestle your wrists, so you might as well bring some colorful heads. Jin Muchen came to the dining table with a faint smile, and then picked up the table top of the small round table. Tom, Tom. The two sharp-edged debonning knives pierced through the plywood table top, revealing half of the knife body on it and then Jin Muchen put down the tabletop and stretched out his hand to draw at the same time. All the onlookers at the venue could not help but look cold when they saw the position of his hand, this kid is really cruel. Just a few centimeters below his raised forearm is the gleaming tip of the knife. No one expected this guy to be so ruthless. Originally it was nothing more than arm wrestling, but now if anyone loses the arm, the moment the arm falls, the forearm is bound to be pierced by the cold gleaming bone-cutting knife. This is a sharp knife with serrations. It is very difficult to treat the wound when it is pierced through the arm by such a knife, and it is very likely to be disabled. John and the others wanted to persuade Jin Muchen, but the words came to their mouths, but they didn't know how to speak. Joey was taken aback, he didn't expect this Asian to be so cruel. Looking at the firm look in the other party's eyes, he hesitated. And Jin Muchen smiled faintly, why? Don't dare? Could it be that you are a who can only slap your mouth? Touch your crotch, are you still there? His voice was not loud, 
but it sounded very calm, and this calm was so harsh in Joey's ears. Jin Muchen looked indifferent, this indifference gave him a kind of detached self-confidence, all the guys who didn't like him at first, now some began to waver, because this kid is ruthless. Joey's face flushed with excitement, his lips moved, and finally he reached out and placed his hand on the table. The two big hands were clasped together. John took their hands, found a balance point, and let go of them suddenly. Joey suddenly exerted strength, his face flushed red, his neck was thickened, and the blue veins on his forehead were about to pop out of his scalp, but the hand of the Asian man on the opposite side seemed to be cast in molten iron on the table, and it didn't move at all. There was a faint sneer on the other's face, and Joey didn't care. The other hand, which should have been placed under the table, didn't even care about breaking the rules, so he clenched the edge of the table and began to use strength. At this time, he even exerted the strength to breastfeed. As for the group of spectators who were watching the fun with wine bottles, there were originally a few who were shouting cheers, but at this time, they all looked stunned. This is unscientific. Joey is obviously more than two laps thicker than the Asian, but why can't he break that guy? Jin Muchen smiled lightly, is that enough strength? I'm going to exert my strength. The brains of all the people present have already crashed. At this time, this kid still has the strength to speak. Before they could react, the arm that was slender by two circles suddenly moved, and in almost an instant, it crushed the thick arm on the table with an almost absolute advantage. The boning knife, impartial, just pierced through Joey's crab claws like forearm. A scream almost shattered the eardrums of all the onlookers. Looking at Joey, whose hands and the dining table were pinned together and blood was constantly pouring out, Jin Muchen felt a strange satisfaction. He got up and glanced coldly around Joey's accomplices, a group of five big and three rough men. At this time, no one dared to meet him. His eyes swept over, and those guys were like children in kindergarten who avoided the teacher's gaze. One by one they all bowed their heads or turned their faces away. Joey screamed while clutching his pierced forearm, and his accomplices were stared at by Jin Muchen's sharp, razor-like eyes, so that none of them dared to move, and the bar fell silent for a while. Get out of here with this pussy. One sentence seemed to make the strong men on the opposite side recover their souls, and immediately pulled Joey up from the ground and walked outside the bar. But just as they walked to the door of the bar, Jin Muchen shouted from behind. By the way, Remember, next time you remind him to brush his teeth after he has finished eating. Jin Muchen's voice made those guys stop for a while, and then immediately got out of the bar. He's a nice lad. I don't know when, Doris carrying Remington came to John's side, John didn't look back, and answered in a very low voice. Yeah, what a nice lad, but next, he might be in trouble. Taruisi's fat face was slightly wrinkled. No trouble, Joey's brother is still in prison, his hands are probably crippled, do you think his subordinates will obey a crippled idiot? It seems so. John turned his face, but there was a definite smile on his face. It's a pity that my table has two table knives. The old lady looked at the door and muttered to herself, and John took over. Count on my account. Forget it, I'll let that idiot Joey give it back to me. The old lady winked at John, then turned back to the back of the bar. After such a turmoil, the atmosphere of the entire bar has all changed. Some rough guys who didn't know Jin much and before looked at him with a look of awe. From time to time, someone sneaked a glance here, but they didn't dare to meet Jin Muchen's gaze. And Paul dragged Jin Muchen and kept squirting, Hey, man, you're not being authentic, do you know how worried I was about you just now? You hurry up and tell me honestly, have you practiced before? Does it work well? Paul has the thick nerves that are unique to black people. The other workers also stretched their necks at this time. Today, Jin Muchen brought them too many surprises. Jin Muchen wasn't too arrogant, just scratched his head, and then he he twice to indicate his acquiescence. Hey man, how about you teach me? I'll take you as my teacher. 
Speaking of Paul, this stupid big man, he really plopped down and knelt in front of Jin Muchen, clasped his fists with both hands, and said strangely, Father Wet. It attracted a burst of laughter from everyone, and the originally tense atmosphere suddenly relaxed. When I came out of the bar, it was already past ten o'clock in the evening, and everyone was drinking a lot, so many people did not drive, but they lived not far from here, so some chose to walk back, while others is to choose to call a friend over to pick up. Jin Muchen said goodbye to his new colleagues one by one, and then walked slowly to the bus stop. He lives on Flabe Street, which is at the southernmost end of Brooklyn, and where he is now, at the northernmost end of Brooklyn, so it's a bit difficult for him to get home now. He doesn't have a car, let alone the bus. Some routes stop at 8 o'clock in the evening. Jin Muchen was going to walk a few more intersections and then call a taxi back. Although the price of taxis here is painful, it is better than walking in Brooklyn at night. When he was about to reach the next intersection, the lights behind him flickered, and a Ford Mercury, which was unknown how many years old, stopped beside him, and then the window lowered, revealing the delicate and beautiful face inside. Hey, thank you for today, where are you going? I'll take you off. It was the waitress who was comparable to a milkshaking supermodel in the bar before. Jin Muchen was not polite, just opened the door and got in the car. Hello, my name is Candace, how about you? A typical Anglo-Saxon girl, blonde and blue-eyed, with a slender body, her lines are so hot that her eyeballs can burst her eye sockets, and her personality is also generous and cheerful. My name is Jin Muchen, nice to meet you. Jin Muchen smiled and shook hands with the blonde girl gently. The girl withdrew her hand and clenched the steering wheel, where do you live? On Flabe Street, under the Brooklyn Bridge. I know, it's on the street next to Atlantic Department Store, hey, by the way, where do you live, how can you not have a car? Candace stepped on the gas lightly, and Mercury exited the street, turned a corner, and headed for the southern end of Brooklyn. I had a car before, but I sold it. That's it. By the way, I haven't said thank you to you just now. You're welcome, you you reading www.uugonshu.com should be. By the way, you know what? I've seen you before. Oh, really? Jin Muchen turned her head and glanced at the girl. Candace was looking intently at the road ahead. Her face was the size of a slap. She looked delicate and beautiful, but Jin Muchen couldn't remember where she met past this girl. Just in front of the Columbia Business School building. Last semester, during the final exam, you forgot? I borrowed a lighter from you. Candace said that it was only at this time that Jin Muchen remembered that it was true that before the exam that day, he went very early. Before the exam started, he could only walk around in front of the building. At that time, Candace and several other girls were standing at the door of the building. Smokes. Among the beautiful girls of King Iishui, Candace and another blonde girl were the most dazzling, as the so-called beautiful and delicious. At that time, he was on a bench not far from them, secretly watching them. Later, one of the girls went straight to him to pick up the lighter, and when Candace said this, the image of the girl who borrowed the lighter from him gradually overlapped with Candace. Oh. I remember. Haha, <laughs> come to think of it, so we are still alumni of Columbia University. Since they were alumni, the two quickly became acquainted, and the atmosphere was no longer the same as before. In New York City after 10 o'clock, the streets were free from the congestion during the day and soon they reached Flabe Street and came to the front of the apartment building that Jin Muchen rented. Jin Muchen got out of the car, Candace lowered the window, revealing a bright and pretty face with a bit of a smile, then we'll meet at school. Without waiting for Jin Muchen to answer, the Ford Mercury made a beautiful U-turn and ran all the way towards the street corner, while Jin Muchen stood on the steps in front of the building with a wry smile on his lips. See you at school, hee <laughs> hee. I don't know when I will go back to my brother. With a bit of bitterness, Jin Muchen went upstairs lonely. Go up to the third floor and open the door. 
This is a one-bedroom, one-bedroom apartment. The weekly rent is $200. The environment is not bad, mainly because it is very close to the Brooklyn Bridge, which is convenient for going to school in Manhattan. The house was rented by him and Malling in the place chosen a year ago, but now the others are still there, and the house is still there, but Malling is no longer there. Jin Muchen came to a small third-tier city in the north. His father was an engineer at the city's design institute, and his mother ran a franchised pharmacy chain in his hometown. His family was fairly well off. Two years ago, Jin Muchen was studying in a second-class university in China, but seeing that the employment environment in China was getting worse and worse, and the competition was getting fiercer, her parents felt that it was a waste of time for Jin Muchen to continue studying in that university. The society will not be too competitive. In order to make Jin Muchen's road better in the future, his parents sent Jin Muchen to the United States to study abroad. After laying the foundation for a year in the preparatory school, he earned a lot of face for his parents, was admitted to Columbia University, and caught his future girlfriend Ma Ling. Ma Ling is a beautiful girl with a star face. He was able to pick such a flower in school back then, but he was envious of many second-generation officials and rich people in the class who were also from China. At that time, he what a spring breeze. In the more than a year since he went to college, Jin Muchen clearly felt the pressure, the pressure from Ma Ling. His conditions are considered good among ordinary people, but if he is in the Chinese circle of Columbia University, it is really only average. Now in the United States, it is no exaggeration to say that there are Chinese people everywhere, especially on college campuses. And these Chinese people are divided into two circles. One is a group of scholars who are academic leaders in China, but they are still academic leaders in the United States, and they get scholarships. The other group, the sons and daughters of the rich family and the second generation of officials from China, originally Jin Muchen considered himself to be in pretty good conditions. In front of these people, nothing could be said. In terms of talent, he is not as talented as those scholars, and when it comes to money, it is even more incomparable when compared with the children of the rich and powerful. And more wolves have less meat which has always been an embarrassment for men and women in the Chinese community in American universities, and a beautiful girl like Ma Ling is definitely a rare high-quality resource. So since entering Colombia, Jin Muchen quickly realized that those guys were eyeing Ma Ling, and Ma Ling seemed to be half-hearted. A few days ago, something suddenly happened in the family. At first, his mother had been hiding it from him, but he just relied on his mother's words when he was on the phone with his mother and realized that something was wrong, so he called his uncle to ask the truth. There was an accident in the family's business, and there was a problem with the capital chain, so Jin Muchen sent back all his tuition and living expenses for the next semester, and even sold the car. Without this money, his future studies and even life would be a problem, and even for this, his girlfriend Ma Ling broke up with him. However, Jin Muchen didn't regret his choice because he let him patronize himself and be happy here, while watching his parents suffer on the other side of the world, he couldn't do it, but what he didn't expect was that Ma Ling would turn his face like this quick. Without tuition and living expenses, he cannot continue his studies, which is equivalent to destroying his future. He looks handsome, but he's not handsome yet, and he can brush his face and eat wherever he goes. I can't graduate from university, how can I look for a job seriously, and how can I get that green card? How can you make money by working underworld? How can I support such a little money, such a lovely beauty like Ma Ling? And that green card is not a big deal to the children of the rich family. These days, wherever you go with money, you are an uncle. Therefore, it is not an accident that Ma Ling was taken away by those RMB soldiers. What's more, Ma Ling was a woman who always knew what she wanted. No money no oni. No cash no is. The reality is that simple. Jin Muchen sat in the living room for a while, then went straight to the bathroom, rinsed and came out before the mirror. In the mirror, a tall man with strong and graceful muscles appeared. He was in his twenties, 
with a straight nose bridge, slightly upturned nose, fine eyebrows, long eyelashes, big eyes, red lips, and white teeth, and a good pair of skin. Jin Muchen is 1.88 meters tall and weighs 180. However, a few days ago, he could never see such angular muscles on his body, and at that time he was still more than 400 degrees of myopia. But now, everything has changed. The muscles on his body are strong and powerful. The original abdominal muscles have become eight small buns with sharp edges and corners. These changes happened just a few days ago. After Ma Ling moved out of the apartment that day, Jin Muchen was in a depressed mood so he used alcohol to drown his sorrows, and at the same time pondered how to free himself and his family from the current predicament. So he put his idea on the heirloom grandfather left him, three jade gourd necklaces strung with a red thread. This jade gourd necklace is an heirloom of their family. It has different colors, including red, orange and purple. The carving is exquisite, round, and full, and the color is smooth. Before the founding of the People's Republic of China, his grandfather was in the antique business, and his family was quite good. After years of accumulation, he had collected a lot of good things. After the founding of the People's Republic of China, the four olds were broken, and there was a movement. In those years, his grandfather was criticized a lot, and his family's antiques were smashed and robbed. The three jade gourds are one of the well preserved family heirlooms. That day Jin Muchen wondered if he bought these three jade gourds and exchanged some money to help himself and his family get out of the current predicament. Later, when he got drunk, he accidentally broke the wine glass and cut his palm. At that time, he only remembered that the blood of his injury was soaked in the three jade gourds, and then when he woke up, the three jade gourds were gone. But on his neck, there are three more gourd tattoos. The tattoo has a simple and simple shape a string of vines extending from the back of the neck to the chest, and three small gourds the size of thumbs just hang on the vines, and these three small gourds, in terms of color and shape, are just right. Just like the three heirloom jade gourds he planned to sell the night before. As for why there is such a change, he is not very clear, but what he does know is that since the tattoo of the three gourds on his neck, his body has undergone very obvious changes. Originally ordinary and ordinary, his body suddenly became muscular, and his strength was astonishing. His big bed and mattress weighed hundreds of kilograms. In the past, it was difficult for the two of them to lift together, but now he can lift that one with one hand. The bed is raised flat, and it can ensure that the flat end does not feel tired at all for half an hour. And the original four zero 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 myopic mirror is also thrown away, vision, hearing, is far beyond ordinary people. As long as you hold your breath and concentrate, you can even see the color of the feathers of the cheering sparrow outside the window and in the shade of the tree, and your hearing becomes very sensitive. You can even hear the couple upstairs. The voices he tried so hard to suppress when they rolled the sheets together, and he could even automatically simulate in his mind the moves and movements of the couple upstairs based on the voices they made. Such sudden changes made Jin much and digested solidly. A few days. Even his mood is very different from before. The most important thing is that his self-confidence has been improved rapidly. Sometimes he even feels that he is Superman by passing his underwear on the outside but the accompanying side effects made him scratch his head. The change in physical quality is amazing, as if it has suddenly entered a second puberty period, accompanied by an amazing increase in food intake. Originally, he spent more than six yuan a meal, and he could eat a full meal with a set of ordinary hamburgers. But when his body changed, he found that at the end of the day, even the cheapest food, he had to eat more than 100 to fill his stomach. So soon he fell into a panic, and now he has more than $3,000 in his hand, which is not enough for him to eat for a few days, UU reading www.uuganchu.com What's more, he still wants to rent a house? After that, there was the scene of going to the distribution center to apply for a job. On the one hand, 
I wanted to make money and save tuition, and on the other hand, I wanted to rely on the company's welfare to solve part of the problem of eating. Jin Muchen stood in front of the mirror and looked at the tattoos of the three jade gourds on his neck. Now it seems that Ma Ling's departure is not a bad thing, but it makes him feel like a blessing in disguise. And what I have to do next is to earn more money as soon as possible to continue my studies, or take my parents over from China. He was a little unwilling to give up his studies, after all, his parents had already invested hundreds of thousands in it. And the parents don't know what's going on in the country? And that money won't know if it's enough to ease their crisis. I still need to work harder. Fortunately, now I have a good physique. No matter how much work I do, I don't feel tired. This is the best gift from God. A job in a distribution center isn't enough. After saving some money, you should be looking for another job. You must know that the cost of living in the United States is not low. Don't look at him now that he is $30 an hour, but after planning the rent, water, electricity, food, and drink, there is really not much money left. Backslash U003 Karaf equals backslash U003 EUU reading Welcome to Read Books, the latest, fastest and most popular serial works are all in UU reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E backslash U003 C A backslash U003 U reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E. Collection grows really slow. Please give me a few recommended tickets. When Jin Muchen first came to this White Castle fast food restaurant, he couldn't believe his eyes. Just looking at the situation inside this store has nothing to do with the castle, especially the decoration inside is more like a bunker and cannon in a domestic anti-Japanese drama. Entering the door, there is only a small concave foyer, surrounded by bulletproof glass. If you order food, you can see the menu pasted on the inside of the bulletproof glass through the bulletproof glass, and the window for charging and taking meals. It is easy to think of the ticket window of the domestic iron boss. The small shop has no internal dining area, only sells takeout, and does not deliver takeout during the day, only at night. If it weren't for the English signs standing outside the store, and the neon flashing and flushing in the distance, Jin Muchen would even wonder if he had come to the Middle East Theater. But thinking about it again, the location of this store is in Queens, which is less safe in New York, and it is also the Sinclair area with the worst security in Queens, so I am relieved. If you see that 100 of the customers of this store are black people from the nearby Sinclair neighborhood, you will understand why they are renovating like this. Jin Muchen worked in the distribution center for a week. After receiving his salary a few days ago, he spent 500 yuan on eBay to buy a 2000 Enhan Toyota, so he began to find himself a second job. Is to come to this Shenji fast food delivery. The old Shen couple from Shenji fast food, of course, welcomed Jin Muchen's arrival with both hands and feet. The location of the old Shen couple's fast food restaurant is very particular. Although it is not in a place like Flushing or Manhattan's Chinatown, when it comes to making money, it is actually a lot. If you go out, you will know that the nearby Sinclair community, consisting of five horizontal and five verticals, is a notorious violent neighborhood in Queens, a typical black settlement. Drugs, gangs are rampant, and violence is rampant. It is precisely because of this problem that no one wants to do business here. In this block, let alone a decent restaurant, there is not even a decent grocery store, such a huge community. Only Lao Shen and the others are open for business, and they are also famous for Chinese food. When Lao Shen and the others took over this restaurant, they took a fancy to this, and the most important thing is that they had worked in a neighborhood like this in Detroit, so they had enough experience to deal with these niggas. The restaurant is decorated like a fortress and there is no in-store dining area. If you want to eat, you can only take it out, pay first, and get out after you buy it. Almost 100% of the customers who come here to spend are blacks from the Sinclair area. These guys can be said to be a model of spending money and dying. They go out to spend when they have money, 
and they will never cook at home. Coupled with the huge community, there is only such a restaurant, so it is not difficult to make money. Even the nearby gangs have reached a consensus that in order to allow the old Shen and his wife to stay here and serve everyone, no one will come to the only restaurant in this community to collect protection fees. Recently, the old Shen and his wife were planning to expand their business, so they got this food delivery position. According to the distance of the food delivery, each delivery cost 3 yuan, to 5 yuan, or even more expensive. Black people in this community are generally lazy, and most of them don't have a car. They are hungry at night and don't want to leave. This work of delivering food is not low compared to the wages of other restaurants, even when compared to Pizza Hut or Domino's Pizza Delivery. After all, this is the most dangerous Sinclair community in Queens. A thief, robber, drug dealer, and gang run rampant. After nine o'clock at night, the road is deserted, so even if the old Shen and his wife bite in spite of his teeth, he raised the price of a takeaway to five yuan, but still very few people came to apply. But compared with the salary of more than 100 yuan that night, more people cherished their lives more, and even the black households were unwilling to do this job. The resident population of New York is about 9 million, but in recent years, with the ambiguity of the Austrian black immigration policy, and the blue-collar cities like Detroit and Chicago in the north, more and more blacks are going bankrupt. The continuous influx of immigrants and immigrants to New York has led to a surge in the population of New York. A recent statistics showed that the population of New York has reached more than 19 million, approaching 20 million. Many people say that New York is a melting pot. People from all over the world come here, and then after a cultural tempering and baptism, they finally become the cornerstone of America. And this melting pot, to be more precise, is Queens, New York. Bankrupt blacks from the North, as well as immigrants from all over the world, after landing in New York, the preferred living area is in Queens, because it is the lowest social settlement and the cost of living is very cheap. Asians are concentrated in the Flushing generation. That area has the best security in Queens. The rest of the area is dominated by blacks and Latinos. These neighborhoods are often the most dangerous neighborhoods, even during the day. Shootings happen from time to time, let alone at night. However, such an area is the area with the weakest police force in New York. A large number of police officers are concentrated in Long Island and Manhattan to protect those rich people. As for the lives of blacks and Latinos in these places, they are too lazy to care. Therefore, the old Shen couple wanted to expand their business. Although they repeatedly raised their salaries, it was only reasonable that no one came to apply. When Jin Muchen walked into the store and told them that I was going to apply for the job, the old Shen and his wife agreed without even thinking about it, and even Lao Shen agreed to increase the price of his takeout to 6.5. Anyway, the money is from the old blacks, and he doesn't feel bad, and he knows that after fighting with the old blacks for many years, those guys are the gods of wealth, and they have too money in their hands. Not at ease. The old Shen couple's definition of those guys is really correct. They are lazy and greedy, and they like to pretend to be face. It is obvious that the money in their pockets is not enough for tomorrow's meal, but they also have to pretend to be brought and down to earth. For educated blacks, never heard of it. So just like that, Jin Muchen began to deliver takeaways at the Fortress Takeaway store owned by the old Shen couple. He also knows the dangers of this job. If he was killed before, he would not be willing to come to this place to deliver food, but now, since the experience of the mutation, he always has an inexplicable confidence in himself, not to mention for a few minutes of takeout, you can earn 6 yuan and 5. This job is definitely not slower than the distribution center, and the work intensity is much easier. Bajiquan, which I learned with my grandfather when I was a child, has also been picked up now. It was originally a kung fu of a hard bridge and a hard horse. In addition to his abnormal physical foundation, he quickly practiced it in a good way. It is precisely because with the backing of kung fu, Jin Muchen has the confidence to come here to deliver food. 
he firmly believes that as long as he doesn't run into a lunatic who sprays around, he can handle it. Zijin, 30 Church Street 2 servings of beef fried rice, plus 2 fried fish, 2 hot dogs, a large serving of french fries, a large bucket of coke, a total of 35, this is the last trip today, be careful come back early, supper is ready. Lao Shen handed out the ready-made takeout from the window to Jin Muchen, and then carefully explained that Jin Muchen, this young man, he likes very much, is bold, can endure hardship, and is definitely a good helper in the store. I know Uncle Shen, don't worry, I'll be back in ten minutes. Jin Muchen nodded towards Lao Shen, took the takeout, and then went out and got into his broken car. Now he works as a porter at the delivery station during the day and comes to this takeaway shop to deliver food at night. He has been working for more than a month, and he has gotten along well with people from both places. The old Shen couple of the takeaway shop liked him even more. His presence solved the couple's problem of expanding their business. The key is that he is not lazy, has a good brain, and has quick hands and feet. Other delivery men can make a dozen or twenty trips in one night, but this kid can make 30 or 40 trips. There are really not many young men who can endure hardships and work hard. Even if he gave him a little more money, Lao Shen felt it was worth it. Jin Muchen drove to Church Street, which is a relatively safe street in Sinclair District, UU reading www.uuganchu.com because most of the black people who live on that street are still working. Unlike the back streets, which are mostly drug dealers, thieves, and robbers, as well as gang members. At 10.30 in the evening, Manhattan at this time should still be the busiest time, but in the Sinclair district, it is already quiet here. Now there are several other Indian-born delivery workers in the store, but those guys generally don't dare to come here. Jin Muchen came here a few times, and after a few times, he was less afraid. On a long street, except for the street lamps, few households still have lights on. Under the street lamps at the corners, there are black youths in twos and threes. These guys are open-chested and barebacked. A dragon and a tiger are not good people at first glance. Jin Muchen knew that these were all drug dealers and gang members. The road is even more deserted, and there are not a few people in sight. Of course, in the shadows of some streets and alleys, there are still many scantily clad women or men standing there, waiting for customers to come. They all opened their eyes wide and stared at every car passing by. If a car slowed down and parked on the side of the road, they would quickly approach it, some to sell drugs, and some to sell own. Backslash U003 Carafe equals backslash U003 EUU reading Welcome to Read Books, the latest, fastest and most popular serial works are all in UU reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E backslash U003 C A backslash U003 U reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E. Collection grows really slow, please give me a few recommended tickets. Jin Muchen's speed is not fast, but it is not slow. He quickly passes through these blocks. Although these blocks are dangerous, as long as you are not walking on the road to be ostentatious. If you drive through it, it won't be too dangerous. After all, car chase shootouts like those in Hollywood movies don't happen often in the real world. Soon I came to Church Street, walked forward about 300 meters, and came to the door of number 30, but just stopped the car, I heard shouting from the room of number 30. Quarrel. Stinky, don't come back when you leave. As soon as the fire was turned off, people were still in the car, and they could hear angry scolding from the house. Such family disputes are staged every day in such a poor black community, and Jin Muchen has long been used to it. Soon, a fat black woman dragged a suitcase angrily like a mountain of meat and walked out of the house, followed by a Labrador with a similar physique to its owner. Her back came out of the house. The woman took the dog directly to an SUV parked on the side of the road, and the car drove away in a flash. Jin Muchen looked at the SUV that was far away, then took out the takeaways in the thermal bag from the car, 
came to door number 30, and knocked on the door. Damn it, didn't you say you'd never come back? The door was suddenly opened, and an angry black face appeared in front of Jin Muchen. Hey! Man, take it easy, I'm just a food delivery guy. Jin Muchen put on a harmless smile on his face. Although Lao He was very angry, he had not lost his mind. It could be seen that he should still be somewhat educated, and he even said sorry to Jin Muchen. The appearance of this black man in his thirties was different from the rude black man that Jin Muchen had come into contact with when delivering food. The average black American speaks with a very strong accent. When speaking, the tone of voice is deliberately raised, which makes it seem a little condescending, as if it is very condescending. Personality look, and this black man is very different. His articulation is very clear, and the temperament of the whole person is also very different, and he looks very cultivated. The guy in front of him is of medium build, unlike most black people who are either fat with the flesh and swimming rings, or the thin, bamboo-like drug addict. He can't tell how old he is, and he is not half black body odor. But one thing he did like most blacks was that he had no money. I'm so sorry, man. I don't have any money, and that just took all the money on me, so I don't have the money to pay for your meal. Hearing Jin Muchen talking about the prices of these takeaways, he squeezed out a wry smile while looking at the takeaways Jin Muchen was holding. Jin Muchen was also taken aback for a while. He had been delivering food here for a while. Although the black people here are very poor, they usually don't have the money to spend dozens of dollars. This is the first time he has encountered such a thing. This trip seemed to be a waste of time, but it didn't matter, Jin Muchen shrugged. Okay, man, I get it. After he finished speaking, he turned to leave, but just after taking a step, the black man stopped him. Hey, man, otherwise, you just take these things back and throw them away for nothing, and I'm really hungry, so let's go. Look at me, what valuable things are there, look what do you think. Jin Muchen was taken aback by this guy's proposal. To be honest, he had encountered such a thing before. But those are the kind of petty thieves. Those guys usually have just stolen from somewhere, and have some dirty goods in their hands. Before they can shoot, they start to order Chinese food to celebrate. To be honest, for these old blacks, Chinese food should be one of the few high-quality, low-cost, exotic foods that they can afford. And Jin Muchen has indeed used those takeaways and the thieves to exchange a lot of good things, such as the brand new LCD TV or Xbox or PS game console, game CDs, etc. that the gang just got. Those things, as long as they get a shop, they can often be exchanged for a good price. They can use a dozen yuan for takeout to exchange for things, and then go to the shop to exchange them for tens or even hundreds of dollars. Jin Muchen is a pretty good choice. Now that the other party has made such a proposal, of course Jin Muchen does not object. He followed the black man into his house. The house was not very large, with two bedrooms and one living room. The environment inside was clear at a glance. Compared with many black houses he had been to, it was much cleaner and tidy. It's not bad. Hee <laughs> hee, it's a pity that I lost my job and the woman left. I don't know how long this environment can last. The old black, watching Jin Much and looking around at the environment of his home, couldn't help but said with some self-deprecating tone. Dude, don't be too sad. I understand such things. Jin Muchen gave Lao He a look that I understand, which made Lao He feel relieved a lot. We are both sympathetic and sympathetic. The character of the old black is generally rather amusing. In a split second, the old black looked at Jin Muchen with a hint of sympathy, which made Jin Muchen feel a chill. But soon the guy's emotions were thrown out of the sky, and then he began to show his rap talent unique to black people and introduced Jin Muchen's valuable things in his family. Dude, what do you think about my sofa? I just bought it at Ikea some time ago, but it cost me $299. Jin Muchen looked at the set of fabric sofas, it was clean and tidy, 
but he didn't know how many handmade products it was, but it was definitely not bought from IKEA. When Lao He saw that Jin Muchen was not interested in the sofa, he immediately started to introduce other objects that he thought could be worth a meal. Why, don't you like this lamp? Oh. No, that TV can't work, it's my only entertainment tool, man, is it really possible that you can't do it? Do you see something? Lao He introduced it for a long time, but unfortunately the things he introduced were not really the things that Jin Muchen was interested in. They were all junk that had been used for a long time. Even if they were bought at a second-hand store, they would not be able to get a good price. It seems that this guy has nothing to do with the thieves he met before, so it seems that the deal is going to fall through. Jin Muchen didn't want to waste any more time, and the moment he turned to leave, he suddenly saw a bowl in a corner of the living room. To be precise, it should be a dog food bowl with dog food. The moment he glanced at the bowl, he seemed to see a yellow light flashing on the bowl wall. He almost felt that his eyes were blurry, he rubbed his eyes, and then looked at the bowl again. The bowl seemed to be covered with black paste. It should be a sticky object produced by the combination of dog saliva and dog food, which was pasted on the bowl. The light in the living room was very dim. Jin Muchen held his breath and concentrated his energy. In an instant, the world in front of him lit up. This kind of change started two weeks ago. Can be concluded. He focused his eyes on the bowl again, and this time he could see clearly that there were some faint yellow patterns under the black paste on the bowl. Seeing Jin Muchen staring at the bowl of dog food, the old black immediately knew that he was interested in the bowl, so he walked over and picked up the bowl. Hey man, you're so lucky, this is one of a kind in New York, a dog food bowl, yes a dog food bowl, it's not like those dog food bowls you get at the pet store, it's not cheap shoe material is not stainless steel, but porcelain, buddy, yes, this is a porcelain bowl. So I say he is unique. Yu Yu reading www.yuyugonshu.com Black's unique talent for rap, coupled with a bit of self-bragging, will make people feel that this guy is really a bit underpowered if he doesn't want to be an auctioneer. Jin Muchen stared at the bowl carefully. Although there was a lot of mushy sticky stuff caused by dog saliva and dog food on it, it looked disgusting, but you could still see the yellow powder under the sticky stuff. Pattern of Colorful Five-Clawed Cloud Dragon When he saw this pattern, Jin Muchen couldn't help but be moved. His grandfather used to play with antiques. Although he did not learn much about antiques from his grandfather, he still understood some basic knowledge. This bowl looks more like an antique, and more importantly, when the old black brought the bowl to him, his eyes saw that there was indeed a constant yellow light on the bowl looming. Although it's just a very faint yellow light, Jin Muchen can be sure that this time it's not that he's dazzled, it is indeed that there are yellow lights on this bowl, what does this mean? Since his body changed, the first thing he felt most obviously was that his strength was stronger, and then his eyesight and hearing became super good, but with visions like this one, he could see different colors of light from objects. It's his first time. So he felt that it was very necessary for him to take down the bowl now, and then to verify his conjecture. Okay, man, these meals are yours. Jin Muchen put the takeaway on the coffee table in Lao He's living room while Lao He happily handed the dirty-looking dog food bowl to Jin Muchen's hand. The new book needs everyone's care, give it some collection, and recommend it. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, buddy, you won't regret it, this is the only dog food bowl in New York, you take this dog food bowl back, your sweetheart will love you to death, anyway, my pippy is all ready with that dog food bowl. Let's go together, I can't use this bowl, it's cheap. Hello. This black buddy thought that Jin Muchen also had dogs, so he took a fancy to this dog food bowl. In his opinion, it is undoubtedly very important to be able to exchange such a broken bowl for a dinner worth $35. Cost effective. At this time, Jin Muchen kept muttering in his heart, Nima, you obviously exchanged a dirty dog food bowl for a meal. That is, sir, I want to verify my conjecture 
otherwise, take out this broken bowl and try it, do you think others are willing to spend a penny to buy it? But Jin Muchen doesn't have the time to talk to this guy right now, he just wants to take this bowl and go back early to verify his conjecture. If his guess is correct, then he will no longer have to work hard and deliver food from now on. Jin Muchen quickly said goodbye to the old black, went out and got in the car, went back to the takeaway shop, and then paid for the takeaway by himself. He hurried back to his place without even thinking about supper. When I came back, I went straight to the kitchen, and then took out a new sponge and detergent. Before brushing, I soaked it in hot water for a while. After the adhesive at night became soft, I started to brush gently. Stand up. After more than half an hour, the once dirty dog food bowl revealed its true appearance. A beautiful open bowl with five claw cloud and dragon pattern on a yellow background, Jin Muchen took out a tape measure and measured it. The diameter is 14.80 cm, the height is 7.00 cm, and the bottom is 6.80 cm. It is a practical device, not a viewing device. However, if this bowl is real, the price will definitely not be lower, because according to Jin Muchen's judgment, this bowl should be an official kill product during the Yongzheng period of the Qing dynasty. However, when he turned the bowl over and saw the inscription on the bottom of the bowl, Jin Muchen felt a little confused. According to the scale and half claw he learned from his grandfather, he judged that this bowl should be the official kill of the Yongzheng year of the Qing dynasty, but why is it written De Mingqinjua year system on the bottom of the bowl? It is true that when the book is used up, I hate it. Jin Muchen has no regrets that he did not learn more about antiques with his grandfather. Before I knew it, it was already midnight. Jin Muchen looked at the time, and then went back to bed. Forget it, this bowl, wait until the weekend, go to Uncle Fang, and let him help him. Hey! Mu Chen, tomorrow weekend, you will take a break, right? On Friday night, Jin Muchen had just finished his work in the distribution center when Paul joined him. On the day when the salary was paid, everyone received their salary, and everyone else liked to go to the nearby pub for a few drinks, but Jin Muchen, who was trying to save money, was not very interested in such a pastime. Yes, I will rest tomorrow. As soon as Paul came up, Jin Muchen basically guessed what this guy was going to do. Hey! How about going to my place for a barbecue tomorrow? Sam and I are going to have a party, let's go together, there will be a lot of hot girls tomorrow. Paul winked and said to Jin Muchen. Sure enough, what this guy said and what he guessed were correct. Jin Muchen smiled bitterly and thought that when he first came to work here, for the first week, he relied on his serious work attitude, strong strength, and him. Dare and Joey. The daring of a villain like Blind to challenge the gangsters stunned the gangsters. So from then on, Jin Muchen was quickly accepted by everyone, so on the first weekend after his entry, everyone held a party together at Paul's house. However, Jin Muchen refused, and went there. It was a typical American party, with barbecue, beer, big at hemp, and many stout black beauties. This kind of party is actually a kind of culture in the United States. When I was studying in college, the foreign students would have such a party almost every weekend. In fact, it is nothing more than a group of men and women with excess hormones, looking for all kinds of excuses. Get drunk by yourself, then randomly find a partner and shoot it. Jin Muchen has also been there a few times, but soon got tired of it. As for the party at Paul's house, after he went to it once, he lost interest. The food and drinks were very rough. More importantly, the quality of the girls in it was so poor that it couldn't be compared to the party he used to go to when he was in college. Compare. He is really not interested in those black girls with thick body and strong body odor, but it is not discriminatory, but it is the beauty of others that he cannot appreciate. I'm sorry, Paul. I have something to do tomorrow. I can't go to your party. What? You're not joking. Mu Chen, you are as strong as a cow. 
You do so much work every day without seeing how tired you are. Don't tell me, you don't need anything at all? It's so good. Why don't you go? WTF, is there something wrong with your orientation? Could it be that you like my black ass? Paul suddenly smiled slyly and said to Jin Muchen, while Jin Muchen looked solemn, then turned his head and said to Paul. I'm sorry, Paul, but I really should have treated you a long time ago. With agility that was not commensurate with his body, Paul jumped to the side with a stride, and then his face was full of horror. Hey! Dude, I get it, you have this orientation, this, that's understandable, you know, marriage is legal in America now. Seeing Paul's incoherent appearance, Jin Muchen suddenly burst into laughter. Seeing his breathless laugh, Paul pretended to be shy and patted his chest bigger than a woman. Dude, you scared me to death just now. I knew how could you be a guy who is full of male hormones. Okay, I'm not kidding you, Paul, I'm sorry, I really have something to do tomorrow, and I really can't go. Okay then, mate. But I'm curious, you guy, you're still so young, you know the truth of having fun in time, I think you know better than me, why are you living like an ascetic these days? Don't drink, I don't like women either. So what are you working so hard for? Paul looked incomprehensible, Jin Muchen smiled, and then patted him on the shoulder. Stop talking to you, man, I'm going to flushing tomorrow. Wait, you're flushing? Chinatown. That's right. I really don't understand why you Chinese people like your junk food so much. Your food is high in oil, high in salt, and poisonous. You just like to make these poisonous food to poison us Americans. When Paul said this, he looked like a hippie smile, but Jin Muchen wasn't angry, just turned around and walked out, while Paul followed quickly. But then again, can you bring me some General Tso's chicken when you come on Monday, and the sausage from that SC restaurant? To be honest, the sausage tastes weird, it's definitely not good meat, but I haven't tasted it for a long time. It smells like poisonous sausage, so I still miss it. Isn't it, General Tso's chicken? Well, well. Jin Muchen is really speechless about the tastes of these foreigners. After he went abroad, he realized that there is such a famous dish in American Chinese restaurants, General Tso's chicken. And almost this dish is an indispensable famous dish in every American Chinese restaurant. To put it bluntly, it is thickened with hot and sour sauce, accompanied by fried chicken wrapped in batter. The ecstasy taste is only from this group. Foreigners like it. There are two famous Chinatowns in New York. One is Chinatown in Manhattan. It is mainly based on early GD immigrants, but it has now expanded to Brooklyn, which is adjacent to Manhattan. In Manhattan's Chinatown, it is now mainly for high-end customers, and restaurants are mainly high-end. Most of the Chinese here are immigrants from Guangdong and Guangxi in the early days. Now most of them have been integrated into the mainstream society of the United States. The circle is very conservative and xenophobic, and they are very disdainful of the new immigrants from the mainland who have poured in in recent years. To be honest, it is these people who squeeze the most new immigrants in China. Jin Muchen has a very bad impression of those people. The other Chinatown is in Flushing, Queens. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com This is another Chinese inhabited area that began to rise in the 1990s. The immigrants here are mainly from Taiwan, the mainland, and South Korea. People oriented. With the rapid development of mainland China in recent years, a large number of Chinese immigrants from the mainland have poured into the United States. However, these new immigrants, as well as the early risers from eastern Guangdong in Manhattan's Chinatown area and the immigrants from Treasure Island, obviously can't pee a pot. Most of them choose to settle here in Flushing, which has led to a sudden and rapid growth of the business atmosphere in the area. As Flushing's economy became prosperous, a large number of Korean immigrants began to pour in, which made Flushing's business atmosphere even stronger. Later, 
even immigrants from India, Pakistan, and Greece also influxed in large numbers. Soon it has become an Asian community with a very strong Asian style. A new bustling business district and financial center have also formed here. Within half a mile, more than 40 banks have gathered, making it the second financial center in New York after Manhattan. The highly prosperous economy has also benefited New York City from here, so almost every New York mayor since the 1990s has attached great importance to the security situation here, so this has become the best neighborhood in Queens. None of them. That's where Jin Muchen is going tomorrow, because Fang Bo's antique shop is there. Backslash U003 Karaf equals backslash U003 EUU reading Welcome to Read Books, the latest, fastest and most popular serial works are all in UU reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E backslash U003 C A backslash U003 U reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E. The new book needs everyone's care. Please collect it, please recommend it. Fang Bo is in his 50s this year. When the country was first established, Fang Bo's parents gave up their family property in Southeast Asia and returned to the country to build the motherland. I would have thought that only 10 years later, the domestic movement began. Uncle Fang's background, of course, was directly swept into the Black Five categories. In the end, he was sent to the countryside to reform through labor with his grandfather who was criticized together. How could Uncle Fang, who was born as a young master, endure such suffering? If he had not had the protection of his grandfather back then, Uncle Fang would have chosen to hang himself in the same way as his parents. Later, Fang Bo and his grandfather became both teachers and friends. He also learned a lot of antique identification skills from his grandfather. After a few years, Fang Bo's overseas relatives found them in China, and then take Fang Bo to abroad. And because of the movement, Fang Bo was also delayed, so he never married. Later, he came to the United States and took root in an antique shop in Farah. It was the relationship with his grandfather who was both a teacher and a friend that made Uncle Fang take good care of Jin Muchen, so Jin Muchen was not worried that Uncle Fang would lie to him. When Jin Muchen pushed open the door of Fang Bo's antique shop, Fang Bo had just returned from shopping outside, and when he saw Jin Muchen entering the shop, Fang Bo was stunned for a moment. Fang Bo is single now. Although he is only in his fifties, his hair is already grey, and his stature is not tall. He can still see the traces of the hardships he suffered in the past, but he looks very good. You boy, the sun is rising in the west. Why do you remember to see me, the old man today? Uncle Fang's tone was a bit resentful, obviously blaming Jin Muchen for not seeing him for such a long time, and Jin Muchen was also very guilty. Hey! I'm really sorry Fang Bo, some time ago. Hey! I know, you young people are busy, I just said casually, don't take it to heart. Uncle Fang's understanding made Jin Muchen feel even more guilty. He admitted that he lived in a family hotel designated by the school when he first arrived in New York, and he moved out of the family hotel designated by the school not long afterward. At that time, he lived in Fang Bo for a few months, and Fang Bo never confiscated it. Over his rent. It was here that he completed his one-year preparatory study and was admitted to Columbia University, which is when he met Ma Ling. But Uncle Fang didn't like Ma Ling very much and he was confused by Ma Ling's beauty, so after he and Ma Ling officially became boyfriend and girlfriend, he made an excuse, saying that Columbia University was too far from Flushing, because he went to school. If needed, he moved out from Uncle Fang's house. Ma Ling is also a very smart girl, and he has long noticed that Uncle Fang doesn't like her. It was because of Ma Ling's scolding that he came back to see Uncle Fang less and less. Now. Thinking about his previous self, quite an asshole. So just now he really couldn't find an excuse to explain his previous behavior, but fortunately Fang Bo didn't mind at all. What time is it? I happen to be a little hungry. Let's go out to eat and talk later. 
Although Uncle Fang's face is serious, his eyes are full of smiles. He has no children, and Jin Muchen is the grandson of his great benefactor. The grandson of his benefactor who is also his teacher and friend came to visit him today. Happy. Looking at the enthusiastic Fang Bo, Jin Muchen had thousands of words pouring into his mouth for a while, but he didn't know how to say it, so Fang Bo could only drag him out of the store. Fang Bo's antique shop usually has the best business on weekends, but now it's obviously not time for dinner, but Fang Bo took him out to eat, and he didn't even do business. This friendship really made him feel it was like a heat flow, suddenly rushing into my heart. If you want to eat Chinese food in New York, the kind of Chinese food takeaways on the street are not counted, but there are only two places, one is Chinatown in Manhattan, and the other is in Flushing. However, Manhattan's Chinatown is mainly based on Cantonese and Chaozhou cuisine. In recent years, they have taken some high-evil routes to try to cater to the appetites of those foreigners, so Jin Muchen and Fang Bo are not very fond of the taste there. In the Flushing area, with the influx of a large number of new immigrants from the mainland in recent years, there are many flavored restaurants from all over China. What Sichuan cuisine, Shandong cuisine, Northeastern cuisine, little sheep chain hot pot, or even kebabs, as long as you can think of it, here is everything. It is very appealing to immigrants from other parts of mainland China, and every weekend, the business of various restaurants here is generally very hot. Because it is close to New Jersey, many Chinese in New Jersey will also bring their families and family here on weekends to have a tooth festival. Although it was only 10.30 in the morning, Jin Muchen and Fang Bola's Sichuan restaurant with peppers was already full, and the hall was full. Fortunately, Fang Bo is an old customer here, and said hello to the waiter. The waiter quickly opened a small package for them on the second floor. Without waiting for Fang Bo to order, what kind of saliva chicken, boiled fish, boiled beef, these authentic Sichuan dishes were served like water. Jin Muchen hadn't eaten such authentic Sichuan food for a long time, and it's not polite to be with Fang Bo, they both enjoyed their meals together. After I was half full, I ordered a few more beers, and then I started to slow down and chatted while eating. Jin Muchen also told Fang Bo about his recent situation. After Fang Bo heard this, he also comforted him a few words. What do you say about that child, Ma Ling? I didn't think much of her a long time ago. That girl has too much purpose. When she was with you, her purpose was not very pure. It's a pity that you didn't listen to her at that time. Regarding the breakup of Jin Muchen and Ma Ling, Fang Bo's tone was very light, but he could see that he was very happy. Jin Muchen was the grandson of his old friend, and of course he didn't want to see his benefactor's grandson fall on a woman. Fortunately, the two split up, Jin Muchen's loss is not too big, Jin Muchen can see clearly now, a woman who can only share happiness and can't share suffering, can't be sad for her. But so are you. There was something wrong with your family. Why didn't you say hello to me and went to the school to go through the suspension procedures? This delayed your studies but it's a big deal. It could be heard that Uncle Fang really cared about Jin Muchen, and Jin Muchen could only helplessly nodded. Uncle Fang, I understand what you said, but who made such a thing happen suddenly at my house? I can't help it, it's all like this, I can't put more burden on the family, and I'm too old, can't Lao Cha reached out to ask for money, and it's time to give back to his parents. After Jin Muchen finished speaking, Uncle Fang thought for a while, and then said, Well, you choose to take a year off from school, that's fine, come out to exercise and get in touch with the society, it's better than staying in the school all day long and not getting along. Good contact with the outside world Fang Bo agrees with Jin Muchen's decision to leave school and earn money to support his parents. He has been in the United States for more than 20 years. He has seen many American college students who go to college and rely on themselves to earn tuition and living expenses. So at this time, he felt that Jin Muchen's choice was right, and young people should exercise. By the way, you came to me today, what's the matter? 
Uncle Fang just remembered the main topic. In fact, since Jin Muchen followed him all the way to the hotel, he never left the small box in his hand. He felt that this kid had something to do. Jin Muchen finally got the chance, smiled hee hee, then took the small box and carefully handed it to Uncle Fang. Some time ago, when I was working part-time, I got an unexpected opportunity, but I'm not sure, so I want to ask Uncle Fang to help me. Fang Bo took the small box with a smile, then opened it and saw the open bowl with a yellow background and pastel. You kid, it would have been better if you had learned more from your grandfather earlier. If you have learned your skills, do you still need to ask me? What's the matter? Now my brain is suddenly enlightened and I suddenly want to play with antiques. In fact, Fang Bo has been worrying about the inheritance of his own knowledge of antiques. Young people are now too few to learn this. In fact, he has long wanted to let Jin Muchen and himself learn this knowledge of antiques, but the previous few attempts, but this kid lacks interest. Now this kid, Yu Yu reading www. Yuyuganshu.com got enlightened and suddenly started playing with antiques, and he still felt quite happy. However, he stopped abruptly when he was talking, and then his expression that was a little playful suddenly became serious. He thought that this kid must have been deceived when he suddenly picked up an antique. After all, he is a newcomer who has never even entered the door, what good things can he receive? But this bowl, as soon as he got started, Fang uncle felt a little strange. It wasn't that the bowl was wrong, but that the bowl was too right. Well, the carcass is finely processed, the texture is delicate and light, the whiteness is exquisite, and the weight is moderate. The glaze is moist and even, smooth and white and bright and flawless. There is a small bump and a short thin line on the rim of the bowl, which has been simply repaired. There is a chicken claw pattern on the bottom which is quite complete. The craftsmanship and the style of the times are obvious, the decoration is vivid, and the lines are smooth. It's a good thing. It's a good thing that opens the door. Hey, you boy, where did you get this good thing? Ah! Hearing Fang Bo's evaluation, Jin Muchen put down a big stone in his heart, and immediately became overjoyed, saying that he was picking up a leak, he was right. As soon as he talked about antiques, Uncle Fang immediately became elated, especially when he saw the open-mouthed bowl with five-clawed cloud dragon with yellow background and pastel in his hand. More excited and curious. Backslash U003 Karaf equals backslash U003 EUU reading Welcome to read books, the latest, fastest and most popular serial works are all in UU reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E backslash U003 C A backslash U003 U reading. Backslash U003 C slash A backslash U003 E. Everyone give some favorites, and recommend. This kid deserves to be the grandson of an old friend. He really has talent in this regard. Don't look at him picking up the leaks this time. It seems that luck is the most important factor, but isn't luck a kind of talent? Fang Bo usually sits in his store most of the time. With such a big store like him, he doesn't need to go to the street to receive goods often. Naturally, there will be people in need who can get things from their homes. He's here to sell. Therefore, Jin Muchen's experience of picking up leaks this time aroused great interest in Fang Bo. So Jin Muchen told Fang Bo about his experience of buying this bowl. After Fang Bo listened to it, he couldn't help but slap his thigh. Boy, do you know how big a leak you picked up? Such a good thing, you can get it for a meal of 35 yuan these days. Do you know how lucky you are? At this time, Jin Muchen felt a burst of ecstasy in his heart. Uncle Fang's affirmation had basically verified his guess, that is, his eyes could indeed see treasures and distinguish ordinary objects from antiques. With this ability, doesn't this mean that he has golden eyes? As long as you pick up a few leaks in the future, do you still need to be a porter and deliver takeaways? Uncle Fang, don't give a shit. Hurry up and tell me, 
what kind of treasure is this? Seeing the anxiety on Jin Muchen's face, Uncle Fang felt a little smug in his heart. You are lucky, but when it comes to antique collection and tasting, you are still tender. Look at the decoration of this picture. The Five Claw Cloud Dragon model, coupled with the yellow ground pastel, the quality of the tire is also correct, basically it can be concluded that this is a yellow ground pastel Five Claw Cloud Dragon open bowl from the Yongzheng period of the Qing dynasty. Now, the deposit at the bottom of this bowl is the De Mingchenjua annual system, which is even more correct. Fang Bo determined the origin of this bowl in one go, and based on his experience, he would never be wrong. Jin Muchen scratched his head, Uncle Fang, this bowl is obviously a product of Yang Zhen's official kill, but why should the bottom width be written, De Mingchenjua year system? Hi. That's because the pastels of Chinjuanian and Daiming are famous, so this is a batch of official kill imitation products of Huanian, and it is written as a deposit. Are you feeling good? It turned out to be a fake product from the official kill. However, this thing has a good background, especially the five-clawed Yunlong model. This kind of style is not suitable for ordinary people. According to Fang Bo, such a style can only be used by the 95th. As soon as he heard that this bowl was the emperor's special tableware, Jin Muchen couldn't help but feel even more excited. Isn't this bowl worth a lot of money? Originally, I was worrying about when I could save enough living expenses and tuition fees. If this antique was valuable, it would solve my boss's problem. Thinking of this, how could Jin Muchen be unhappy? Uncle Fang. How much is this thing worth? Fang Bo turned his head and glanced at Jin Muchen, then turned his head and touched the bowl. If this bowl falls into the hands of foreign devils in the United States, especially those who don't know how to do it, it will be a waste of money, and it is no different from rags, but if it falls into the hands of people who know how to do it, it will be valuable. Hey! This bowl of yours is of the right type, and it is the thing that opens the door and it is also a bowl for the royal family, so don't think it is a utility device, not a viewing device, but the price is not low. Fang Bo rubbed the pastel open bowl in his hand and said. Yang Zhen's pastel porcelain has a sophisticated craftsmanship, elegant and beautiful personality, and is highly respected by everyone. It has always been very popular in the auction market, so there is a lot of potential for value added. In addition, in recent years, the domestic antique market has grown rapidly, and various porcelain, especially the porcelain of the Ming and Qing dynasties, the price has been rising all the way, so the price of yours can't be low. Don't look at this bowl's mouth, but it is not bad, it has been repaired, and although it is a single product, it is it is a treasure used by the royal family, so I estimate that the price of this piece will start at $10,000 and how much you can buy depends on how much the person who sells it likes it. So many. Jin Muchen was also a little stunned when he heard it. He didn't expect that this small bowl could be sold for 10,000 US dollars. You must know that he worked hard for a month in the distribution center, and only saved 3,000 yuan. That's it. In addition to the more than 1,000 earned from delivering food, these are real hard-earned money and the coolies sold are not as good as this bowl. Is that more? Uncle Fang glanced at Jin Muchen with a rare but strange look. Yang Zhen's pastel porcelains are mostly light and handsome small objects, such as plates, bowls, cups, boxes, pen holders, etc. Yours are just practical objects. If they are ornamental objects, the price is at least higher. Turn it over again. And the shape of this bowl is mainly too small. If you change it to a pastel celestial ball bottle or a large plate with a diameter of more than 50 centimeters, and you look at it again, the price will definitely be turned around. Going up. In the past two years, in the domestic autumn auction, there was a pastel celestial bottle from the Yangzheng period, do you know the price? Fang Bo saw that Jin Muchen's interest in antique collection had been aroused at this time and of course he couldn't help but add fire to him. How many? Jin Muchen also knows that the domestic search market has been very hot in recent years, 
but it turns out that he doesn't pay much attention to the news in this area, so it is usually just hearsay. Now that Fang Bo is so professional, he is really not sure. At that time, it took more than 11 million shots. Wow, so many. When Jin Muchen heard this, she really wanted to go straight back to the old black house, and then rummaged around to see if there were any other basins for the dog to bathe in, or a large kettle for drinking water. You are also lucky this time. If you gave this bowl to you or that person, you must not understand. Otherwise, you will not be able to pick it up. If you really want to go this way, you might as well learn from Uncle Fang. It can also be regarded as allowing your grandfather's academics to have an inheritance. Fang Bo continued to persuade Jin Muchen to say that after all, he still wanted him to learn the craft of identifying Chinese antiques with him. This time, Jin Muchen didn't shake his head as fast as before, and directly rejected Uncle Fang's proposal. Instead, he nodded and said, Uncle Fang, give me some time to think about it. Okay, think about it slowly. Don't worry. Uncle Fang was also very happy when he saw that Jin Muchen didn't refuse directly and decisively as he did in the past. By the way, do you want to shoot this bowl? Of course, I'm short of money now. Well, when you and I go back to the store, there will be customers in a while. Fang Bo smiled and said to Jin Muchen, Jin Muchen was full of curiosity, how to buy antiques, do you still need to make an appointment? Fang Bo explained to him with a smile, in recent years, there have been more wealthy people in China and more people traveling abroad. Among these people, there are many collectors who know how to do it. We in China had more than 100 years of humiliation before. History, and during that time, I don't know how many treasures have been exiled overseas, of which the most are in the United States. Now those domestic collectors have also learned a lot and the prices of domestic antiques are hyped too high. I like to come to the United States to find antiques. Even if I can't find them at the time, I like to entrust antique dealers like me to help them find things, and then come to me regularly to receive goods. This afternoon, there will be a wave of domestic customers. If you want to come here, I can just sell your bowl. When Uncle Fang said this, Jin Muchen understood, and he did not refuse immediately, and went back to Uncle Fang's shop with Uncle Fang. Fang Bo's antique shop is located in the middle of Lianhe Street. There are some worthless junk. The real good things, some of which are not too valuable, are displayed in the glass cabinet at the back of the store, and this part is separated from the front by bulletproof glass. Fang Bo usually works behind this bulletproof booth. The law and order situation in the United States is not very good. Many people have guns, and this is still Queens. Although www.uuganshu.com is a flushing area with a higher law and order situation than other areas, it is still necessary to be careful. Jin Muchen followed Fang Bo back to his store, and then helped with the cleaning, and sat in the back drinking tea and chatting with Fang Bo. After about an hour, the doorbell rang outside. There are already a few more yellow-skinned middle-aged people, copying authentic Mandarin, and are commenting on this small shop. Fang Bo smiled and went out and greeted a few people. Obviously, he was very familiar with the one who took the lead among these people. The leader was a middle-aged man in his fifties, with a medium stature and well-maintained emerging rich people in China, learning to play with other people seemed to have just entered this circle. However, Jin Muchen could see that among them, the real core should be the one in the middle of their circle. That person was in his thirties, tall and thin, with a pale complexion. This kind of person naturally carries such an indescribable power. Several other big bosses surrounded the man in the middle, and they were all cautious when they spoke, a little bit like the stars and the moon. Come here, Uncle Fang let me introduce to you. This is a good friend of mine in China, Mr. Wang Swimming. Mr. Wang is the main leader of a large domestic company, and he also likes to collect. I heard that you there are a lot of good things here, and this time, I have to come with me for a long journey. Mr. Wang, this is the boss Fang I mentioned to you before. 